So also adding people. Um, I've just watched. Um, it's me again, Courtney. I've just watched UFC One Forty. Jones vs Machida. All I can say is wow. Um, some people got mash up tonight. Um, first of all, I went four one in my picks. Um, first on the pay per view card was Chang Sung Jung versus Mark Hominick. Um, I think it's tied for the fastest carry of the night, seven seconds. Um, Mark Hominick came out through a left, just ran straight up and through a left. Didn't put his hand back, and um, Chang Sung Jung just came up, pow, hit him once, dropped him, and then just followed up and finished off. Seven seconds, please. Seven seconds. I predicted Hominick to win. The Korean zombie just walked away with his arms, legs, head and everything. Ate him alive, basically. Um, but congrats to the Korean zombie, Chang Song Jung. Um, pff, wow. Uh, next on the card was, uh, the pay-per-view card was Brian Eversole versus Claude Patrick. Um, it was a good, decent battle. Um, you know, went all three rounds. Um, it was a split decision. I, think, I can't remember, but I think it was a split decision to Brian Eversole. Mm, I personally, I thought Claude Patrick may have snatched it, but you know, judging don't even want to leave it up to them. I predicted Eversole to win. He did win. Uh, then next on the card was Tito Ortiz versus Antonio Rogerio Noguera or Little Nog. Um, Tito came out really fast, and as I was saying before, if Tito had a bit more confidence in his hands. I said this in previous videos, if he had confidence in his hands and his, you know, his feet is kicking, he'd be alright and he was doing okay. And he got clipped, I think it was with the I think he got clipped with a left hook against the cage and it just carried on from there basically. Nogueira caught Tito with a wicked knee straight up the middle. At first it caught him in the I think it caught, it caught him caught him it looked like it caught him on the right of Tito's body. Um but in the pre um pro post fight interview Tio said he got him right in the middle um, and it just went to the ground Nogueira just kept hitting him and Tio was, he was wincing I said I tweeted he was wincing um, it looked like the knee hurt it, did, it wasn't he got poked in the eye I knew it wasn't that I knew it was something else um, and obviously later he revealed that it was the knee I predicted Nogueira to win he does win um, Tio has one more fight on his contract the UFC may honour it um, you know, uh, we had a lot of support actually, a lot of people chatting Tito, but yeah, um, I hope he gets his last fight. I hope he fights someone, I hope he fights Forrest Griffin, <coughs> complete the trilogy, finish his career. Um, but anyway, Little Nog wins. Um, next on the card is Frank Mir versus Big Nog, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Um, Frank Mir starts, he doesn't start slow, he just looks at what pe people do. Um, you can tell he's doing that because he's never fully active but like Nogueira was catching him and I thought personally I, I tweeted I thought Frank Mir was out he was out man he was on the floor when Nogueira caught him he's face down on the floor like this and Nogueira was hitting him on the side of the head then all of a sudden he woke up and thought right I better get into gear um, oh, what did Nogueira try and do uh, basically it was a like a little transition of Transition and moves on the floor. Uh, Nogueira tried to get Frank Mir's back. Frank Mir um, sort of like got out of it and pushed his feet over, grabbed Nogueira's hand, pinned this down, and put both of his legs back over the other side of Nogueira. Then went for the Kimura. Um, they rolled twice and then Frank Mir just broke his arm, snapped it. Um, Frank Mir wins. <laughs> I predicted Mir to win, he did win, not Frank Mir, Frank Mir, Frank Mir to win, he did win, impressive, um, Big Nogueira, I don't know what's going to happen to him, he's going to take time to rehab the arm, but there you have it, um, and next on to the main event, Johnny Jones, Johnny Jones, John Bones Jones versus Lyoto and Matt Dragon, Machida, um, you know, to be honest, because I was really tired anyway, I'm still tired now, it's like 4 in the morning, quarter past 4 in the morning. I fell asleep during the first round. <laughs> I woke up in the second round, luckily, um, to watch um, Machida. He, was look he looked like a pissed off dragon, man. Every time he got opportunity, he was coming forward quickly, really quick. Um, 
and then it was at one point that he sort of like jumped forward uh, and John Jones connected with a punch which put him down um, previous to that anyway John John Jones had taken him down and started elbowing cut him on his head there was a massive gash on his head um, then that punch happened and then um, John Jones was looking vicious man he just got his neck he was some old school had his hand there underneath Machida and had his arm wrapped on and just started pushing his forearm against Machida's neck. I don't even know how he was doing like that, pushing against his neck because Machida was against the cage. Pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Machida out. Let go of him, just poof. Machida got fucked up. Um, that was even worse, you know, that was even worse beating than Shogun gave him. But yeah, John, John Bones Jones retains his title. Um, I picked Bone, um, Jones to win. He did win. Anyway, that was just a quick review. UFC 140 um, from Toronto. Um, I've seen some tweets as well about people fighting in the stands again. You Canadians are crazy, man. You love your MMA. Then you take it. But I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but anyway, UFC 140. Good card. Um... Yeah, I'll be back for UFC 1441, Lesnar versus Overeem. Um, but anyway, subscribe, check out me on Facebook, um, facebook.com, Courtney MMA. Uh, basically, just like a collection of all the videos and whatever. Subscribe, <coughs> follow me on Twitter, same username, Chopu. Um, check out tweetmma.co.uk, mmapundit.co.uk. Um, lapelchoke.com um, and also train at leicestermma.co.uk peace I'm gone I'm going to bed now I'm tired <laughs>